Hey, it's Jenny over at Phoenix Art Supplies. Um, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about alcohol ink painting and some of the methods that I use to paint with alcohol ink. Um, this is a gessoed hardboard. It's a really nice smooth surface. You can use alcohol inks on any impervious surface like um, tile is great for learning on because you can wipe it off if you don't like it. Um, Upo paper, which I've talked to you about before in another video, but you can come in and ask me about that as well. Any kind of glass works well too. But um, I like using these little hard boards um, and there's a couple different ways I finish them. So I'm gonna show you an example of one of my pieces. This is a piece done on this little five by seven hard board. And I used this Baja Blue and dripped some drips of the Baja Blue on and then added this Claro extender up at the top and used a wider brush just to smooth that around to create this almost watercolor effect up at the top here. And then putting some of the extender in the body of the piece and taking this chili pepper red and some of the other colors and just dripping them along. And then you just take a small brush and make streaks going across. Now, because it moves with the extender, you're going to see a lot of variations and this all happens organically. It's not something that I painted specifically. Um, on this piece, I did something similar, but I wanted to have a little moon, a little spot that didn't have any paint. So after I did the painting, I used this cleanup solution and just put one drop of cleanup solution and that starts spreading away and taking away the alcohol ink in that one spot. And then the difference between these two pieces, um, on this piece, it's not finished. But on this piece, I've poured uh, acrylic resin or epoxy resin on top, and you get a shine that's like glass. And so it looks like it's been painted on glass, but it's really just these gessoed hardboards. Um, this is the art resin product that creates that surface, and it's a two-part resin. You just mix it together, equal parts in a cup, and pour it on top and let it dry overnight. And then you get really nice uh, finish and so these are my favorite toys to use in the art store, my favorite type of product. And if you come on in, I can answer any questions about the product for you. All right, thanks a lot.